Welcome back to more Metroid Prime, everybody. This is what it looks like. The power bomb ammunition. What I actually ended up doing was shooting these explosives here in the elevator, and that actually came up, so that's how it works, so that's fine. Okay, also, I realize that there's small and there's large missiles. Uh, I think it's 3 and 10 that they give you, which is why I didn't actually have the other one scanned. So they changed some things up, but again, I don't know if these things came with the trilogy version or the remastered version. I'm not entirely sure because I didn't play too much of the trilogy version. I played it like one time for like an hour, and that was it. Because I grew up with the GameCube version the most. That's the one I definitely played the most. So, you know. Okay. Alright, so we're going to get up here now. This thing is going to be a little complicated. Um... I'm going to do two turns, I think. Okay. Then I think I need to come down here and do... Oh, that's the bottom one. I got to come this way. And on the second level, what I have to do, because I have to align... I think it's the yellow one. We're going to do three. Okay. And then finally, we're going to go down to the bottom level and do one on this one. And that should actually set up the pathway nicely, I think. Yeah, the yellow one should be um, locked in. Hopefully, I did it right. Let's see. That one's good. That one's good. I think we're good. Yeah. Nice. All right. So. Oh my God. Really? You have got to be kidding me. All right. So I'm actually coming back over here because I got my two additional power bomb ammunition. Yeah, that, see, that I didn't know. I do remember, like I was saying before, this was not here in the GameCube version. They they put this on here to prevent a certain sequence breaking from this, but anyway. Here is the next thing, which is the grapple beam. Yes, it's pretty cool, I guess. But what I'm going to do now is make it back into, I have to basically get out of here. That's what I have to do. So the way that we get out of here, it's um, it's one of these doors. Okay, well I can't go over here. This I can actually scan now. Nice, nice. So it's pretty easy to just do this. Go to the other side. Um, where does this take me? Oh, it's back in the perfect. Okay, that actually makes a lot of sense. I think I need to go in here. It's going to be like a nice little shortcut that takes me back into the main room of here. Alright. Okay, here I think I would want to scan this. Crane controls are now active because I think this basically makes some kind of shortcut up here. By making it go this way. I think so. I don't even know. Oh my god. Okay, well one thing I need to look at. This is security access A, which I think is where I want to go right now. Oh, even though it might take me a while to get my... Oh, Jesus. Go, go, go. Okay, the reason why is because... Oh, they put some freaking space pirates in here. Okay, I mean, that, that's fine. Oh, my God. Was that, was that power bomb? Hopefully it was power bomb. Okay, let's go in here. Oh, wait, I think it was. Oh, jeez. But yeah, that's why... Okay, see, there was small and large, right? Because I literally just scanned the other one in this the other video. No idea, but anyway. Here's what I wanted to get. Another missile expansion. So, we're done in the phase on mines for now. It's time to get out of here. We have done... Everything we needed to do for now. Oh, nice. I got more power. I need that. I need power bomb ammo really badly. 
Okay, I'm gonna ignore all of these enemies because I do not need to deal with them right now. So we got two upgrades, as you know. We got the we got the power bomb, and we got the grapple beam, which now opens up a lot of access to different areas. So there's gonna be, I think, I want to say there's two missile expansions we can get in here. All right. Oh, these things I also have a high drop rate for power bombs from what I remember, so that's good. If you ever need some of that, just kill those enemies and you should be fine with getting power bomb ammo from them. Anyway, yeah, see, look at that. Alright, so now we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna shoot that thing. We have to make it into... Yeah, it's gonna be right over there, I think. So we'll go... Actually, let me see this. Yeah, it's the one up there. Okay. I totally missed that. Okay. That's fine. Don't you... Okay, you know what? There's another way to do this. I don't know why I'm doing it like that. Seriously. go all the way up and now here we got a late yeah see we do have three what that means I ended up using I don't know what happened because I ended up using I think only two of them not three of them that was really weird but okay so anyway what you want to do here is oh shoot I don't know if that's what I wanted to do. There we go. And it's one of those drop through blocks. So you don't really see those in the 3D Metroid Prime games that much, but it's still that the crumbly blocks, you know? Okay, here. It's pretty simple. We're gonna get ourselves another upgrade. This time it's gonna be the X-ray visor. Alright, so here, if you actually take a look, or if you use the X-ray visor, you'll be able to see some things that can actually be uh, blown up, and you can even scan these things and see, oh, look at that. Okay, so you just simply come up here, go ahead and lay a power bomb down, and it breaks the entire wall. The room is much larger than you initially thought. Okay. Now for down here, we're gonna go ahead and lay a bomb there. This will make a large totem pole like come out. And then we're gonna go ahead and use the spinner there to make an artifact pop out. Okay, so from here, uh, really just any of these will work. Just get on it, run up to it, and that's the artifact. Okay, I think that's only like the third one. The seventh of twelve, yeah. Oh no, it's the fourth one, never mind. When did I get the other? I don't even remember. Okay, it's fine. Alright, so now we have to get out of here. Um, I think it's up this way, how you do it. Yeah, should be right up here. Okay, and then yeah, here we're going to take this thing. Oh great, okay. So... The really neat thing about the X-ray visor is that it actually makes things so much easier um, to fight these Chozo ghosts because now you can see them always. Like literally always. You can actually see them always. Which makes, again, like for detecting them, that's amazing. For being able to do that. Okay, well that one's stuck behind so I can't really do much with that. Unfortunately, just be very careful about. Okay, where'd you go? Right here. I think I got them. Yeah, that's it. In this room, you actually do have to fight the Chozogos because um, of that. 
that thing will not actually open itself until you defeat the Chozo Ghost, so... Yeah, usually I avoid Chozo Ghost battles unless, you know, it requires me to do it, because I hate fighting them. The extra feather does make things a lot easier. It's kind of like the Dark Visor and the... You know those Pirate Commandos in Metro Prime 2? They're so annoying. They are incredibly annoying. Um, but... Yeah, you know, it... The Dark Visor, at least, makes the, the battles against them a lot more reasonable. Because they're incredibly frustrating to deal with. If you do not have a Dark Visor yet. Okay. So... We ended up doing that. That's that's cool, right? I think what I need to now do is let me look at the map here. So I do need to go into oh, what's this one? Hold on, which is the other one? Oh, you know what? I'm such an idiot. Okay, I actually missed something. I can't believe I missed something, but I did. It's um, back up there a little bit. There's actually going to be invisible platforms. Um, the other nice thing that the X-ray visor does is that it shows invisible platforms. Which I think should be somewhere over here. If we turn it on, you'll actually be able to see... Wait a minute. The freaking hell? It's on the right? Why do I not... I'm trying to see something here. Wait, no, it's under me. What the hell? Okay, wait a minute. Oh, it's that one. Oh my god. It's going crazy over here. Seriously, it's right here. And then you just simply jump up there to this one. And it takes you to this room. This is the Great Tree Chamber, just a missile expansion. Okay, perfect. Now we can get out of here. We're gonna go into uh, Chozo Ruin South, which would be this door right here. Let's go ahead and take it. Nice. We're building up in power bombs. Let me just make sure this is the right one. Yeah, that's perfect. This might be the last time we're gonna be in Chozo Ruins, I think, because I think we can get every item here now. Anyway, this here leads to, um, I don't think I had ever shown off this over here. No, it just goes back this way. So what I want to do first is go into the furnace. Um, I guess the best way to do this, well, cause that's, that's the Hall of the Elders. Actually, I guess what I should, oh no, I, I guess I technically did this wrong in a way, like the order. But it's not too big of a deal, I guess. Mainly because now that I have the grapple ring and the power bomb. Yeah, I just realized what I could do. Okay, well, I'm not gonna go there. What I need to do is go. Yeah, cut straight through over here this way. Luckily, I don't need to deal with those Chozo ghosts right now. I can just run through the room. And then run this way as well. Yeah, no, so there is one more time I'm going to come over here, and that's just for the plasma beam thing. In the Hall of the Elders, there's a plasma beam section that I do actually want to do. Okay, but in here, you may remember... Are there going to be Chozo Ghosts in here? No, right? Okay, I figured as much. Thank God. Alright, let's lay one down. This will break this here. So we can actually make our way up there. Oh god. Okay. What I recommend doing here is just killing all of these things as they get in your way. Oh my god. Oh, that's fine. At least I killed them all.
far. We gotta jump up this way and land. You gotta look at your shadow here. It can be a little tricky. Just take it nice and slow as you're, you know, killing these things or just going through them. It doesn't really matter. There we go. God damn it, I almost fell. Yeah, if you do lay a bomb, make sure not to move when the bomb goes off because that's going to launch you like really out of there. But here we go. There's the missile. Whew, all right. So I got this one. Now it's time to go. Um... Wait a minute. There was a pathway the whole time. Are you serious? Why didn't I just take that one? What, what the hell is wrong with me? I literally went the... Oh my god, okay. Whatever, it's not a big deal. Uh, I need to go into the watering hall, so I actually have to turn around. I'm trying to figure this out. It would be that way. So I think it would be the pipe, yes. And then, just go straight through here. Okay, now we're gonna be in this uh, other large room, but we, we don't need to do anything in here, so it's fine. It's better to use a power beam on these things, by the way. I mean, I've learned that usually in the Chozo Ruins, the, the power beam is the ideal way to do things. Because a lot of these enemies have really, really low health anyway. You know, so it's not really a big deal, you know, about having a low damage shot and you need the speed if you want to kill a bunch of them at the same time. So that's why I think it's better, but anyway. I'm gonna grab all those pickups, ammunition and stuff, but I'm going to the watering hall. For one specific reason. There's water in here, so you know what that means? There's something to do here. We're gonna obtain the, um... Oh, god damn it, man. Okay, this way. I'm gonna go this way, and then right up here, there's a missile expansion. This will actually put us at 175. We're getting there. We really are getting there. Okay, I'm gonna now turn back. Now I have to make it into the ruined fountain. I think that's gonna be the um, next way to go to, so I need to go straight through here and cut across. Then go like this. Okay. Oh great, I do not want to do that. I want to go, I'm just gonna go straight through actually, to the right side, so. Yeah, maybe let me just kill those things, that's fine. And then here, okay, we made it. What we want to do is finally go to that door that we didn't go to earlier in the game. Um, you could you could have actually gone this way if you wanted to. Um, but you would have been stopped right here, actually. This way. This would have been a problem. You would have not been able to cross through without... Well, first of all, you wouldn't even have been able to survive here because of various suit requirement. But you also wouldn't even be able to cross through. To get you to use the grapple beam. All right, there we go. I guess we'll sure do that. Go to lay a power bomb down right here, and this here gives us our first power bomb expansion of the game. There's also a chosen lore, which is that all the chosen lores in the game? Let's actually see this. Let's take a look at the logbook and go to chosen lore. That is all the Chosel Lores. Okay. So at least we got all those, you know. Pirate data, there's definitely still some, I think. Yeah, there's one. Oh wait, there's only one left. What in the world? Okay. Research. Okay, we have all the research as well. 
So we're actually, oh my god, we're very close on this. It's really just creatures and then one pirate data, which I think I know what the pirate data that is. It's going to be deeper in phase online. lines. That's crazy. Alright, well anyway. I'm going to go through this thing here. Um, I think this is the... No, this is not the one, right? This is the... Oh no, wait, this is the room. Hold on. Hold on a sec. Is it here? Yes. Another missile expansion in the training chamber access. Alright, very nice. Okay, now we're at the training chamber. Alright, so I recommend, like always, again, putting on your damn x ray visor and just spamming these things with some supers. That's probably gonna be the ideal way to do this. Oh, damn it. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. There we go. Got them both. And that breaks both of those things. Oh, perfect. Yeah, there's an energy tank in this room. I'm gonna lay a bomb here and this one. Oh shoot. That's timed. Gotta be fast with that. Now let's run through here. And we're gonna get ourselves another energy tank. Look at this health. Look at this. Oh my god, get over there. Seriously, what are you doing, Samus? Okay, so I took care of that one, and the other one we want to do, it's actually to advance, um, we want to do this one. Wait, no wait, that was the same one, wasn't it? No, no it wasn't, okay. Jeez, I was going crazy there for a sec. But basically, this will give us access to, go right through here, oh god damn it, man. Okay, I'm gonna go like this, and boost, damn it, you got me, go, damn it, oh, gotta get way through all these, this is, this is so slow, man, this is like so slow, there we go, okay, so now, oh, Jesus Christ, dude, yeah, be very careful about that, you do not want to fall, because if you fall, you have to go all the way around, which is crazy. Um, now what I'm going to do is I have to make it into the... Okay, it would be right over here, I think. So I need to drop down this way. Yeah, there's a plate of beetle behind me, but I really don't care. Like, I do not care at all. We're going to run straight through here. We're making it to... Uh, we got to go get an artifact, actually. Um... It's obtained by going, I think it would be to the other way. Oh shoot. This is a really long half pipe. Alright, go, go, go. I better not get hit here, I swear to god, man. You freaking... Did you dare? Oh my god, I mean, I did get hit, but I can't believe I actually made that. If you get hit while you're in spider ball, in a track, you um, why is it so dark in here? Okay. You will actually fall immediately, but I got lucky in the fact that I was already like close to the platform, which is insane. Oh my god. Okay. Anyway, uh, we didn't do this before because we didn't have the gravity suit last time we came here. Uh, but basically, if you go here, you'll get taken to an artifact. This is the artifact of Life Giver, I believe. We're doing really well collecting everything here. The 5th of 12. Nice. Item 71%. Scan 93%. Whoa. Okay, so we're done here because the other item here was the Wave Buster, which we already got. And we do not need that, so... It's whatever. Okay, now what we're going to do... Is come back. We have to go to Talon Overworld North. Which is that one, right over there, okay. So basically it's the, you know, the early game one, the one at the beginning of the game. And like I said before, we only have one 
I think there's only one pickup left in here. And that's the, if you remember the Hall of the Elders, there were three circles. There's a purple, a white, and a red. We don't have the plasma beam yet, so we can't actually, you know, do the, um, or get, get the final item in there because it's hidden behind that place that it's going to take us to. So I'm just going to run back to Town Overworld for now. Okay, um, let's go through here. I have to make it all the way to uh, Magmore Caverns East, which I think is um, it's gonna be the one up there actually. So we're gonna run like this. Okay, right, there we go. And I'm just trying to be quick about this, you know? So here's the thing. There's a... Yeah, I think there's actually something I can get up here. Oh, but maybe I shouldn't even have even done it yet, to be honest. Because... I kind of just realizes, but, um... I'm gonna have to come back up here anyway again for another one. Whoops. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, God. It's coming at me. Shoot. It's okay, I killed it. Yeah, should I even have done this? Oh, whatever. I'm already coming up here. It's fine. There's, uh, yeah, there's some platforms here. The reason why I can't do everything right now is because, um, there's actually one of the doors. Yeah, see, see that plasma beam door? That plasma beam door is... I can't pass it right now, but I can at least grab this. Which, if you take a look, um, you're actually hidden behind some like big vine things but yeah that one that's unfortunate oh well i guess i should i should have just waited i don't know why i did that um i have to make it to uh, magmore caverns east which is the bottom door okay perfect we're gonna go ahead and shoot this thing okay Alright, and now we're gonna go like this. All the way through. So, Magmore Caverns East is, um, I'm trying to think of, uh, there's gonna be a fair amount of, actually no, only, I'm just gonna get the plasma beam and just go, because although there are more things, I think it's actually easier if I take a certain way. So basically, I need to go over there would be towards the right side this way this is the okay so you think i think i do need to use the spider ball here because the space gym boots are not going to let me get through the higher ground so i need to just go all the way through okay and then there's this one i'll just take the damage i don't really care this is what i was talking about earlier you can actually do this also, is this? Oh my god, I know there's a pillar here. I know some of you know that know about this. But I totally forgot which one is even that. But anyway. Yeah, I don't think it's here yet. We just have to cross through to make it to the freaking core and do that giant puzzle thing. Oh wow, the puddle spores are actually gone now. That is crazy. All right, let's go like this. And here. This is going to be a lot of uh, little spinner-like puzzles here, you know? I'm going to go right this way. There's like three spinners maybe you got to deal with here. There's some pretty big ones, but... Yeah, because you want to do this so that you can um, raise the the platform a little higher and then this one I think is also yeah it's right here I actually went the wrong way okay there we go and then I can just use the spider ball go 
going through. All right, just like that, and lay a bomb here and watch this. This this I thought was really cool. The first time I ever saw this, and you see this pathway, you're like, oh my god, this is crazy. And actually, it's, oh, I'm gonna go here. Basically, it's a giant um, spider ball puzzle. We're gonna be utilizing all of your different tactics, such as boost ball, morph ball bomb, and jump ball. Well, I mean, you don't really need a jump ball, but you'll see. Um, like, in these things, you actually do have to do the bomb. You can't jump ball directly off of that. Like here, if you try to press jump ball, it's not gonna work. You actually have to use specifically the bomb to propel yourself upwards. Okay, and here just, you know, again, be careful, be careful with this stuff. I guess if I wanna be safe here, I can just do that. Ooh, is that a, no, this is a missile. I'll take it. Okay. This was always really hard without the jump ball because you have to time the, the morph ball bomb perfectly to propel yourself upward. If you have to jump ball, which means you're playing Trilogy or the Remastered, that's significantly easier. But I remember it always gave me a lot of trouble. Okay, over here now. Here again, you gotta be careful. These, uh... Oh my god, I don't even know their pathway. Yeah, I actually recommend killing these things because if you don't, they're just going to be in your way and you don't want to deal with that, you know? Just, just get rid of them. That's my recommendation. Okay, I'm back. Sorry. Y'all probably heard a little bit of, like, the phone vibrating because I have the phone next to the, um, next to the microphone. But you probably heard that and I was like, oh shoot, it was, it was just a phone call I had to take. Alright, so now let's keep going. We're going to go ahead and put some bombs here. Okay. That's right, kill it. Give me my, okay, well. Alright, now we're going to go like that. Just take it nice and slow. I think we're almost there actually at the end. Oh yeah, we are. Oh, we see. Oh my god are you serious give me a well, give me one sec okay i did it this time what the hell was that no but seriously this i think i was getting confused between the grapple beam one and this one this is the one where i think there wasn't a uh, freaking dancing here because you could have actually come here uh you can somehow do a series of tricky jumps to get up there apparently I don't know, it was it was kind of wild from what I remember, but which is why in a trilogy version they ended up blocking that with a freaking piece of Denzium in there, but anyway, I got the plasma beam. That's the important thing. Yes, the plasma beam is actually really powerful, in case you're wondering. But I need to make it into Fendrana Drift South, which would actually be wait, would it be this way? What is this one? Yeah. That one, okay. We're gonna go all the way over there. Shouldn't take too long, actually, to, you know, get over here. But yeah, the plasma beam is insanely powerful. Well, okay, it doesn't work on the freaking puddle spores because they're freaking fire enemies, but whatever. The plasma beam basically burns things. Um, it causes a lot of havoc <laughs> everywhere. Um, I need to go up there. I actually need to switch to the wave beam. The plasma beam charge shot is actually very strong as well, that it can... I think it can like one shot these freaking flying pirates or something, or maybe it's two shotting, I don't remember. But yeah, something like that, you know? Alright, let's take this one. Cool. Okay, so now we're in Fendron Drifts, which I think by this point I can basically get everything um, that I need to to like complete this section. I'm gonna go, I guess I'll go this way first, sure. Let's go into the quarantine monitor. Oh, let, me, let me break this thing just because um, we're short on some power bombs, you know. So it's, it's always nice to have that. 
Okay. We're gonna do this. Then we'll go through here and... There we go. Missile expansion. Okay, I want to check something here. No, not that. Um, okay. So we got the one in here. Now I have to see what, what the best course of action would be here. I think if I actually go this way, it would make the most sense to, you know? Um, sure, let's, let's go with it. Let's go with that. There's a sheik off behind me, but you can just avoid it, you know? Yeah, those things are kind of a pain. Also, actually, the plasma beam works really well on those things. Um, it's the only beam that works on the Shigoth. All the others, it will absorb it. You have to use missiles or plasma beam once you get it, you know? Alright, let's go like this. And Oh, great. Okay, you know what? Let's test out some plasma beam here. You can burn these things. See how it just like disintegrates them? It's crazy. It's, it's so powerful. It also shoots uh, pretty fast. Like in terms of a rate of fire. Yeah, see it does one shot them. That's what I figured. And the regular shots set them on fire. Okay, we're gonna go... Yeah, we're gonna go to the right. I think that's the better way to do this. I think. Alright, where's the door? Uh, we'll just avoid you all. Uh, it's fine. Do not need to deal with these things. Okay, so here... Um, I think it's... Is it this? This is Denzium, right? Or Bendesium, whatever. Can be altered with, no, with extreme heat. Oh, never mind. It's just a platform shot. Okay. Let's see what we got. 75%. Okay, that's nice. Uh, now I need to go into Fendrana's shorelines, which would be that way. Let's go ahead and go through all these doors in here. Got some more Shigas. Okay. So here in Fendrana Shorelines, I think the big one is... I think it might be over here, actually. There's like a block of ice or something. Yeah, I can just melt it. We're at 200 missiles now. Okay. Now we have to go into the Chozo Ice Temple, which is... The door over there. Okay, let's go ahead and um, I think this way we can do it if we go like this and jump this way. Alright, nice. Making our way through. Taking that damage, I don't care. Alright, so this is a Chozo Ice Temple. Um, I have to make it to the very top in this room, actually. By the way, the plasma beam also works on... Remember the, those enemies, the little ice creatures that only the missiles work on? Not anymore. Uh, the, a regular, one regular plasma beam shot will actually kill them. Here you want to use the plasma beam on these things to melt the ice in the hands, and then we're able to get into a morph ball form. Yeah, look at that. Another artifact. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Let's see here, because now we've gotten... Got a few things. I think we want to go over to... Yeah, we'll have to cross to the other side now. That's pretty much the main thing we wanted to do here. There's nothing else towards this direction. So I'm just gonna... Kind of like retrace my steps back through Fringe on the shorelines and cross over to the other side, which would be the uh, Ice Ruins East, I believe. There is a pickup in there that we need to get. I don't think the door matters too much. Um, like, because they both lead over there. Watch this, see? Look at that. It just melts them right away. We're gonna take this door, I guess. This is correct, right? Yeah.
Okay. And then in here... Oh my god, it's a freaking big she-goth, huh? Watch the plasma beam be able to do some good work. Three shard shots will do it, I think, yeah. Alright. Uh, let's remember where this was, actually. I think there's like a freaking block of ice somewhere that we can melt or something. Is it... Oh, man, I don't remember, actually. It's got to be tucked away somewhere. What the hell? No, no, there's definitely an item here. I remember this. Okay. Because we got the one... Yeah, we got this one, but that's the second item. Oh, you know what? Hold on a sec. Is there something? No, that's actually where I just... Okay, why do I not remember this? Um... Maybe there isn't something in here. Okay, I think I'm remembering this wrong then. Hmm. Because... No, I mean, there, there has to be, though. Okay, I may have to do a cut until I figure this out. But see, I feel like it was just... It was. It should have been on the lower ground then. Oh, it's over here. Oh my god. I, I See, I remember there being some... I knew I wasn't crazy. Okay. So now we have to make our way over to... Oh man, I mean, the, the only easy way to get... It would have to be the control tower. Which I think, yeah, would, okay, so we have to cross through that way, okay. Yeah, this will be a bit of a, a bit of a trip to go backwards. We're nearly done here in, um, in Vendrana Drifts. We just have the space pirate facility to go through just to get some lingering, uh, pickups that we didn't get before. But anyway, I have to go... Be to the left, this way. Is it this one? Yes. We're kind of just going straight through. Through all these doors. Actually, here I think I need to, uh... Get up here. I'm the stalactite. I mean, I'm sure there was an easier way. Actually, no, I think that... I don't even know if the space jump would have made that jump, but... It's fine. We're making it through. Oof, that actually hit me. Alright, so... In this room, once again, I don't know if there's actually a shortcut. I feel like there isn't. Like, I have to do this the... The traditional way to even get... Oh, wait, no, there's a spider ball track. Never mind. We'll take the spider ball track. Alright, so... Wait, what the hell? I, like, barely made that. Oh my god. Okay, but yes, we're going into the space pirate facility. So, that would be... Straight that way. Okay. <laughs> Is there a pirate in here? No, not this time. Okay, we are going to the control tower specifically. Which, I mean, I think it's better if I just kind of skip through these things. I can afford to take a hit or two. I think. The door is straight this way. What the? What? 
Okay, I gotta turn on my thermal visor here. All right, and in this room, there's like a doorway. Okay, I should be doing the platform beam here. There's no reason to be doing it otherwise, as one charge shot of the platform will actually do it. So it's faster. Um, there's also a an elevator. Yes, yeah, this one. I'm getting there. Oh shit, there's a freaking turret. Oh my god. Okay, let's switch to the wave beam because I think... Yeah, I can't get rid of these things. Oh, only one? No. I just walk right through the other one. Alright, we're almost there. This is taking a while. Um... See, that's why I should have done the other way, because that would have actually made more sense. Oh no, it's, all, it's still really dark in here, my god. Okay, seriously dude? These things are gonna actually block me, I have to kill them. Okay. We have to go... Like this. And this will take me to the control tower. Wow. This was quite a journey, actually. Anyway. For the control tower, um, there really is just one thing that we can do here. Oh, shoot. And that's to, uh... Okay, well, we gotta take care of these stupid flying pirates first, I guess. Oh my god, can you stop dodging everything? I want to kill everything too, but... Okay, seriously? They're being freaking annoying, so I'm just gonna have to use this. Okay, I think I got them all. Alright, so there is, um... From what I remember... Oh wait, I can't even get rid of that. You know, it's actually... No, no, that is the right way. Hold on a sec. I hate how agile these things are, they're so annoying. Okay. I think this thing can explode by a missile. Yeah. And you want to melt this ice. Oh, I already melted it because I used a charge shot. But trust me, um, you have to do it like that. Then you can shoot this and this tower will actually collapse. And it'll create a bit of a pathway in there. Now let's roll through and grab ourselves the artifact of Elder. I guess we can just go back out the same way. No way, there's gotta be an easier way, hold on. Oh yeah, it is through here, okay. Got it. Okay, now we have to go specifically this direction. So we're going to have to go to Research Lab Aether, which means it would be towards this side. I know I'm running out of time, but I've also done a few cuts. The recording says 58 minutes, but I feel like I've done several cuts in this video. So I would be able to uh, maybe do a little more in this video. Okay. All I need to do in here... Wait a minute, hold on, I'm going the wrong... What the freaking hell? Wait, 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 wait. Where is the other pathway, dude? Oh, no, it is that way, okay. 
I really thought I was going crazy here for a second. Again. Although I may have done this wrong. Wait, wait, wait. No. It's it's it should be right. Yes. I got them both there in one shot. Okay, actually, I think it's required the ice beam. Oh my god. Shoot it and go. Seriously. Yes, but this will take me over to the, the gravity suit section of... Um, yeah, of Fendrana Drifts. So we have to make our way over to the Frost Cave. Which would be the higher one to the right. I think it's this one actually. Let's go, let's go. Okay, I can take off this. I do not need that anymore. Okay, so here's the frost cave. I actually got you, wow. Okay, yeah, what I want to do is take that. I just need to, uh, time this. Just like that. The reason why you have to do this is because you can only hit it from this angle. The, um, the final one up there. Alright, it'll break that. Come in here, grab this uh, missile expansion. And now we have to make it into. I think it would be the edge, which would be over here, Fendrana's edge. Either of the doors to the left over there would actually take us up. So I think we can just take. Yeah, we'll take this one. That's fine. Okay, this is going to be Fendrana's Edge. We got some more of these flying pirates. We want to deal with them, but as you can see, the grapple hook spots. Now we can uh, go up there and keep going up. Okay, and then here. We got more platforms to worry about. Let's keep going higher and higher in altitude. And then we have to cross. Well, hopefully that's good enough. Yeah, that works. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to end the video here. Well, here's the power expansion. Okay, um, I'm just making sure here. You know, I think there's one more thing I need to do here. It's like a... I'm pretty sure this is the thing... The, there's like a place that has a... A secret door? No? I mean, specifically, I don't remember this for sure. Like... I, th I thought there was a place... That was like that. Oh, it is here. Okay, perfect. See that? Do you see that? Okay, we gotta do this. And there's a secret door here. And this leads to another artifact. We're actually getting there. There's only four artifacts left to obtain. Um, Alright, I'm gonna end things here. So before this video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you enjoyed the video. I will see you all later. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great day.